Oh, I need to take some pictures for the grizzly and for the gram. Mm. Mm. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny. If you're new here, let's be friends. Um, let's build a friendship, that connection. Let's let's get close. So today is a tutorial on this here look, the little um, airbrush heart trend that's going on on Instagram right now. I saw a lot of makeup girls do it. I saw Rocio, Lauren, Shania. Um, I believe Sten Steny, um, I hope I'm saying her name right. I believe Steny is the creator of this cute little look. Um, I'm gonna put all of their Instagrams in a little box right here. So y'all can go ahead and check out their looks and check out their profiles because they're all amazing, beautiful chef's kiss we're gonna get right into it keep on watching to see how to get this look and yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe talk to me in the comments i would love to to talk to y'all let me know what you think at the end of the video okay okay go watch okay so this is one eye done and i'm gonna show you guys how to do the other eye so yeah i'm gonna bring you guys closer and we're gonna get into it okay so y'all are really close to my face if you see lace if you see imperfections just pretend like you don't see them so what you're gonna need i'm gonna tell you everything that you need right now okay you're gonna need a white eye primer. So I used the e.l.f. putty eye primer in the white color. Um, I prefer this consistency because it's more dry and our, if you put like foundation or like concealer on your eyelid, it's gonna create more oil and it's gonna break down a little faster. So I prefer something that's more dry like this. Um, then, uh, obviously an eyeshadow. This is just one eyeshadow, so you can pick whatever color you want. I'm using the Morphe James Charles palette. I'm using the hot pink color. Um, but yeah, you can use whatever color you want. You could even use black. <gasps> that would be so cute. A black one. I'm, I might do that on Instagram. Whatever. You're gonna need some brushes, specific brushes, okay? So I'm gonna just show you the brushes that I use. This is a paint brush, um, but pretty much it's just a really long, skinny, don't mind my broken nail, <laughs> my broken press on, which makes no sense. But yeah, um, mm, a really skinny f um, brush that like you can make it flat so that it's a little easier to make the heart shape. And then to fill in the heart, you, you want something almost like an eyebrow brush. Like this is like an angled brush. Um, it's just easier to get like that really precise little line because this is almost like a line that we're gonna do. But yeah, so you're gonna need brushes like these for the hearts um, themselves. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna, again, start with the e.l.f. putty primer. I'm just gonna use my finger at first because this is really dry, so you want to warm up the product. Um, so yeah, just, and then onto the eye. It doesn't need to be precise because you could literally like move this around and blend it out a little better. Okay, so that's like a rough draft pretty much like you just plop it on there and then I took a brush like any honestly any brush but like I used this one specifically um just to blend it out a little bit around the edges so I could like spread it out a little better just so like when you put on the eyeshadow it doesn't stick to like one spot now we're going to take our blending brush we're going to use a blending brush to pack it on because um I don't you don't necessarily need to pack it on when you have a white base like this because it's gonna grab it um, so this just makes it easier and I guess you just use less brushes when you pack it on with a blending brush and then blend so again oh <laughs> I'm gonna take oh where is it <laughs> I'm gonna take this is hard Hold on. so I'm gonna take that pink shade in the James Charles and Morphe palette like that and then just pat 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 on so um as for how far up you want to blend it that's up to you i've seen people um blend it all the way up or just like leave it in a in their regular like crease area um that's personal preference i guess like i'm just gonna leave mine 
in my regular jagular crease area maybe drag it a little bit higher um yeah but that's up to you and your eyes if you don't have much crease or eyelid space i think it would be better for you to go higher to your brow bone for this um but again it's up to you and i'm just gonna blend it out into like a wing shape not necessarily like a sharp wing because i don't necessarily like that but i'm just gonna blend it out outwards like that i'm going to now we're gonna now paint on the hearts okay so for the hearts i used the nyx jumbo pencil in milk this is really old because this is a staple like if you never use a jumbo pencil girl i don't know what you was doing um but yeah okay so i'm gonna take the crayon or the pencil whatever and rub it on my hand like this this will um, make the product easier to take with the brush. And then I'm gonna take my brush and paint it like that. Pick up some product like that. And then we're gonna do this the easiest way that I would know how to make a heart. We're not gonna dry on. We're gonna like stamp it almost. So just, just watch. Okay, so that's a stamp, and then you're gonna turn the other way. Stamp. See, you already have a little heart shape without having to draw it on. So then you just fill it in. a little heart um it doesn't have to be perfect because honestly it's supposed to look like airbrushed so airbrush is not perfect babes that's just a tea Okay, so this is what we have so far. They are not perfect in the slightest. If you want to fix them, you can just take your little angled brush and take some more eyeshadow and I guess fix it. Um, these are way bigger <laughs> than the first ones I made. So I'm gonna try to fix them a little bit by just taking some eyeshadow. Oh my God, you can't see, hold on. I shadow. Okay, looks a little better. Okay, now to fill them in, you're basically gonna take the same brush and the color. Oh my god, you <laughs> can see and the color. And the, again, this is an angled brush and it has a very flat tip, so you're just gonna do. okay okay it, it's not horrible and they're not too different <laughs> i'm gonna go in one more time with the um white you guys cannot see <laughs> with the white and just outline a little more just so i have a better a more defined line Okay, now that we have our hearts, we're gonna make our little stars. I'm just gonna use the, this is the NYX 
the NYX Epic Wear um, Waterproof Liner. This is like, um, it says I Am Body Liquid Liner, so you could use this to like draw all over your face, whatever, or your eyes, so. And this is in the white shade. This stuff is waterproof. Like if you have, if you have an issue with transferring or like stuff like that with like your eyeliner, get this in black. It's not going nowhere, babes. Nowhere. So yeah. So I'm gonna do the bigger star in between the two um, thingies, the two hearts. <laughs> I'm gonna start with a dot in the middle just have a starting point and then go down go oh that looks so much better than the other one i'm so upset and then i'm just gonna do a little tiny one over here And that's pretty much it for like the design itself. Now we're just gonna do our eyeliner, regular degular. Oh, and this is the NYX matte liquid liner, by the way. Oh my God, this sucks. Okay, this is the matte liquid liner. I did it a bit thicker just because of how like cartoony the look itself is so like it's okay to get a thicker wing here okay so i'm gonna put on my lashes and then come back with the full look i'm so pretty okay well i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial again this is the full final look I did add some little moles and some lip gloss and stuff like that. Um, that's it. It's super easy. Like I said, this may not even be that long of a video, but knowing how much that I talk, it might still be a long video. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please come back for the next video. You won't be disappointed. Follow me on social media, on Instagram. Here's my Instagram. Um, TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I try to be on TikTok. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, wherever you are. I don't know. But love you guys and hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.